explorers this is Jessica with exploring the local life and today I was gonna talk to you about rvwithme.com it is a website that we use to find different locations boondocking spots and RV parks and we were just gonna walk you through how to actually create a user profile and how to find locations near you or not near you RV with me was started by Scott Krupa. He had an RV park and he ran it for about 20 years and then he sold it, but he still wanted to be a part of the RV community. So he started RVWithMe.com because that way he can connect RV owners and landowners together. And he initially had it where it was just private landowners, but this has since expanded to be RV parks, boondocking locations. He's also listing events and rallies on the site. So let's go ahead and get started. I'd like to ask if you guys would go and try out the site yourself and see what the usability is. The reason I ask is that I am actually, Robert and I are working with Scott directly um, to make this website user friendly and to make it so the RVers will want to use it and to be able to create a community around it. So whatever feedback that you may have, I can go straight back to Scott and let him know and he can make changes or, or take your feedback into account and we can really create a website that is not just his creation but also part of your uh, information, my information, all the RVers, campgrounds, all those things so that we can have a really great site where we can maybe even meet up at rallies and things like that. All right, so I am going to start a new profile. I already have an Exploring the Local Life profile, but I'm gonna start one for myself privately. All right, and it gives you the option to log in with Google, with Facebook, or with an email. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with Facebook because that tends to be pretty easy. You just click one button and away you go. All right, there we go. Created, profile created. So next I'm gonna do is look at listings. So I can add any listing that I have. So particularly any boondocking locations that I might have found along my travels, um, any rallies, um, dump stations, anything really I can add to this site. And that is part of the beauty of the rvwithme.com idea. It is content that has all been put in there by RV owners, users. So it'll have um, listings that people have already experienced, it'll have descriptions, and it will also have reviews of the location. So that way you can know before going if it's going to work for you or not. So let's go ahead and add a listing. So of course we have to put in a title. I'm going to do, I don't know, test site number one. <laughs> listing type. I'm going to go with boondocking. So it's got overnight site, event rally, park model, RV rental, boondocking, or sandy dump. So I'm going to do a boondocking spot. Um, so let's see, we've got RV park or campground, farmer ranch, acreage, driveway, winery, golf course, or parking lot. So this is uh, like if um, you can even put some place like Walmart or if a uh, rest area has overnighting that you know of, you can put that there. Or if you have a driveway yourself and you would like to have RVers come stay with you, you can use this site and list your property on there. So I'm gonna do driveway. Property attributes, I'm gonna say gated and fenced. Property amenities, so this is a really great one because if you're, especially if it's a boondocking kind of location, you can give, or you have not, but you can give uh, future RVers or people are looking at this particular site an idea of what to expect. Like, let's see, is there a washroom? Are there showers? I mean, these are things that you definitely wanna know. If it's by the beach, you wanna know these things, right? Or if there's a playground. So I'm gonna put, um, since I'm doing a driveway, I'm gonna put showers, laundry, and a playground. Uh, let's see, then there's also the site amenities. So this is like what kind of hookups you're gonna have. Is it more like a campground or is it more like a driveway? In this case, I'm gonna say power and water because if you're gonna be staying in somebody's driveway, they may 
uh, offer water or power. So you can plug in that sense. Uh, let's see, RV pad, I'm gonna say hard surface because it's gonna be a driveway. But you can indicate whether it's a pull through grass, back in gravel, or something like that. Let's see, it's got this emergency RV property. What is that? People in your area are in need of relocating due to natural disasters such as fire, flooding. RVers can stay there for free, which is a beautiful thing. Or in the case of the southern states, hurricanes. So that's a really great option to have. Let's see. So for description, I'm going to say cool. That's I can't spell cool or <laughs> cool place to hang with friends. Then here we've got um, maximum number of people per RV. I'm going to say four. Um, depending on what location you are putting in, you know, that number will vary. I'm going to pretend like uh, I'm offering my driveway up. Uh, number of vehicles, I'm going to say two. If I have a driveway, I probably don't want a bunch of vehicles taking it up. Maximum number of days, I'm going to say uh, one. Max, I'm going to say three. And then, of course, the all-important RV length and... Oh, I thought it said number of slides. It says number of sites. The RV length. So I'm going to say uh, 45 feet. Uh, let's see, number of sites. I'm going to say one because I'm doing my driveway again. So if this was another boondocking location, let's say, um, you can list, like we did one, I can show you later. For a boondocking location, it had 12 different sites for RVs. So we put 12 there. And as far as maximum length, I can't remember what we put on there. Maybe 30 feet. I don't know. Let's see, RV clubs and associations. In this case, uh, in this case since I'm doing a driveway, it's not going to be anything, but you can put like Thousand Trails, KOA. So if this location takes any of those, is associated with any of those, you can put them on there. Contact. Uh, I'm going to put one, two, three, four. DeBerry, Florida Lane. Whoops. And I accidentally put the cap lock. Email has my email, phone number, 123-456-7890. Website, I'm going to leave that blank, and company, I'm going to leave blank. And then they have this donation for boondocking locations. So if you are listing a boondocking location, like your driveway, if you would like a dollar or two or three, especially if you're offering water and electricity, that way to offset a little bit of your cost there, you can do that. Or if you're providing something for free, then you leave it there. So I'm gonna say, oops, let's see, day, name, I don't know, site type, oh, see? So I'm gonna say um, power, 15 amps. Whoops. Whoa, uh, season. Sure, let's try weekly. And then price. And I'm gonna put US. And I'm gonna say $2. Next, boondocking location. How do you want to receive from RVers for this listing? So let's see. Would you like to receive a reservation fee for your boondocking listing from fellow RVers? Add one or two dollars per use fee for your time and effort. And then you can put a thank you for your support. And a donation amount, I don't know, $2. You can upload photos. Well, let's see, I'm gonna put this one. And then it asks for a location. Let's see if it'll give me DeBerry, Florida. Can I show it? There we go. Done. That's my hometown, guys, DeBerry, Florida. And let's see what else you can put on here. You can put payment, you can put the check in dates, all these things, policies, full refund deadlines, things like that. So, the more, if you're going to provide a free site, you would leave all these things out. If you're going to do a paid site, whether you are um, asking for payment for the water and electricity at your own site, or if you are an RV park owner, um, or if you have a big piece of property and you want 
people to pay to stay on it. This is where you would put all of those details in there. Let's see, payments, full payment, um, lead generation, get leads for a small fee. And then there's a deposit payment where they collect 10% deposit payment from the booking and the rest is collected in cash or credit um, directly from the guest. And it says this fee has been removed for 2017, so I guess that one isn't uh, available there. Hey, Nan. Uh, I guess it's fine. If you're hearing some weird clicky sounds, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. Nadia is playing um, Minecraft <laughs> right next to me, so you might be hearing that. Frequently asked questions, so here you can be like, uh, do you allow dogs? Answer. Yes. So that way um, you won't have to go, hopefully, too much back and forth with whoever wants to stay with you. The uh, most frequently asked type of questions that you think will be listed here, or if you get a lot of um, inquiries, you can start your own frequently asked questions, come back and edit it later. Rules and regulations. So that's anything you want to put in here, you know, uh, no alcohol use, no drug use, whatever type of situation you want to specify here, this would be the place to do it. And I'm going to hit save and continue. Let's see what comes up. It says that our listing got updated and let's view it. New test site one. Internet. There we go. I chopped off my head and Robert's head on the image. And here we have test site number one. It says that it's gated and fenced. Four number of pe four people can stay there. Two vehicles per site. One site, the length, all these things that I put in. Okay. And then if somebody is interested, they can request a site or they can put right here questions and they would come to me. So that is how you create a location. Now, if you're looking for a spot, let's go back to the main page. So here, right away, it says, what do you want to do? We've got an overnight site, boondocking, park model or RV rental, events and rallies, or sandy dump. So I'm going to try uh, events and rallies. And let's see, I'm going to put Atlanta, Georgia. Let's see if anything comes up. There might not be anything. Yep. Yeah. There's nothing. Another way to do it is that you can actually go to the different locations. Obviously here it's showing, um, I'm sorry, the different categories. So RV parks and campgrounds, there's farms, wineries, let's see what else, golf courses, boondocking, tiny home movements. So if you have a tiny home, you can park it with an RV with me host, sandy dump sites. And then there's this awesome map right here. And this will show you uh, the boondocking locations. Right now there's 132, there's 123 RV sites, sub 47 sandy dump locations, six RV rentals, and three events and rallies. And as you can see, they are, let's see, we've got some in Europe, something in Australia, an RV site, Mexico, the United States, and Canada. So it's not just for the United States. And then of course you can add your location as well and become part of the community. All right, so I'm gonna check out uh, boondocking locations. There's 132 of them, let's see. Here's one. Got some nice uh, photos of the location. Let's see if I can click on there and see what it's got. So here's somebody boondock free camping along the Columbia River outside of Boardman, Oregon on an Army Corps of Engineers site. Have any details? Nope. I think that, um, oh, you can check out YouTube video of this location. Let's see if that comes up. Yep, yep, there it goes. So you can get a really good idea, depending on what the user provides, of what the boondocking or campground, RV site, whatever it is that's available. And of course my internet is not 
There it goes. Nice waterfront location. So as you can see also, if you have extra space on your property, you can host folks on your farm or your acreage or anything. You can list it for free. Or you can do, if you're an RV park or a campground, you can do online reservations right through here with rvwithme.com. All right, and that is pretty much the overview I wanted to give of the site. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments, if you have used the site. So please, it's rvwithme.com. And uh, let me know what you think. Let us know. I will get back to Scott. And uh, hopefully we can build something magnificent together. So thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.